The CM Video Lessons plugin gives the ability to organize videos into lessons to create a video-based learning environment on your WordPress site. In this video, we'll cover how to create a simple video LMS with content from Vimeo where you can track your students' progress. For the Video Lessons Manager plugin to work, API keys must be obtained from either Vimeo or Wistia, whichever platform has been chosen. API keys are entered on the settings page from the WordPress dashboard, navigate to CM Lesson Manager Pro settings, then click on the General tab. From there, the keys should be copied to the relevant section, Vimeo API or Wistia API. To begin the process of importing videos, click on Import Videos at the top of the Videos screen and then you will be at the Import page. Next, follow these steps. First, choose your video platform, then you can select from either Show All Videos or Show Vimeo Albums and Channels. Decide which lesson to assign the video to or whether to do it later. Don't worry about skipping this because you can modify the setting at any time. It's possible to skip videos that were already uploaded by checking this option. Click on the checkboxes inside the videos that are to be uploaded, then click Import Chosen Videos. A message will appear to indicate the successful import. Upon successfully being imported, the chosen video or videos will appear at the top of the list of videos shown on the videos page. The videos associated with the chosen API will appear. The thumbnail, title, video duration and release date are also displayed. Videos can be organized in lessons and in courses. Now you have the content and it's organized. But how to show it to users? It's really easy. We'll discuss two ways. The first way is automatically generated pages, which is the easy way. You can change the link path of these automatically generated pages from the General tab navigation section. The second way, and the more flexible way, is shortcodes. Use shortcodes to add courses and lessons anywhere on your site. One benefit of this method is that you can customize its interface along with the content of the whole page. This is the most important shortcode. The shortcode with all of the attributes looks like this. The visual attributes are option to turn off the links bar, nav bar, search bar and Ajax for enabling or disabling the Ajax calls. Use one of these shortcodes to show the list of lessons or courses. One of the main benefits of the plugin is that you can track the progress of your students. Admin users can access the progress report from the backend. Admins can group the report by user, course, video or lesson, as well as filter the data. This shortcode generates the user statistic for the specific user that is logged on. The plugin allows you to add a dashboard with multiple tabs for site users. In each tab, you can have a different information shown to the users by inserting either text, short codes, and more. You can configure it from the dashboard tab in the settings. Select a page to display the user's dashboard or choose Create New Page to create such page. The tabs that will appear in the dashboard can be named and their shortcodes added here. You can and should use email notifications to make sure your students are engaged and your teachers are up to date. The general notification settings are managed from Settings Notifications tab. You can adapt all text related to the plugin. Head to Settings, Labels and edit all relevant text.